Great, my turn? Okay, great. Hold on one moment. Hello everyone, greetings again from the Onionverse. This is Nathan from Guardian Project, AKA Nate Freight, with full visual avatar anonymity privacy mode activated. Now, let's go. Over the last 13 years, our work on Tor for mobile devices has had a huge impact. We began with Orbot, which has had over 16 major releases, 20 million downloads, and today has nearly 2 million active users. In recent months, Orbot has been a critical lifeline for users in Russia, Iran, and for everyday people around the world, where app blocking and usage tracking has increased at unprecedented rate. We are excited that Tor Project has realized that a VPN-based Tor solution is a critical need and should be a core part of their product offering. We're happy to be working together with them to contribute to its success. That doesn't mean we're done with Orbot. And as you will hear today, we have a lot more coming soon. Possibly the most underreported news from us might be Onions on apples, onions on apples, Cupertino goes wild! Orbot VPN is now available on iPhones, iPads, and Mac computers, be it Intel, M1, or M2, through the official, you heard it, official Apple App Store. Our work for years on Onion Browser and the Tor framework for iOS gave us the understanding we needed to finally deliver a stable, usable, network extension-based VPN. Thanks to early work by Mike Tegas, the ICEPA team, optimization from Alex and the Tor Network team, the Leaf IP routing library, and the persistent hard work of lead developer Benjamin Earhart, we can confidently offer you a Tor VPN for all Apple devices today. We also continue to support and improve Onion Browser, the Tor-based web browser for iOS devices. With version 3 coming next year, it will be updated to work in tandem with Orbot, to improve compliance with Apple policies and continue the great improvements in usability we've, we've been up to recently and to continue making a privacy-focused browser that works with Tor. You can find all the sweet candy apple links at orbot.app and onionbrowser.com. In the last few years, we've supported and surveyed thousands of users, held multiple trainings and usability sessions worldwide, and by far the most important critical thing we've heard is, bring back the Orbot mascot. See, in the early days of Orbot, we had a little onion-headed robot that you'd tap to start up, and when you were connected to Tor, it would throw its hands up in the air and say, ta-da, we did it. It made people feel good, less anxious, and more ready to face censorship and surveillance and circumvent them. So we've heard you loud and clear, and we're bringing back a new and improved Orbot mascot. And so now I would like to introduce Orby. Hey, Orby, how are you? Oh, you ran into Fabby? She has some important news about our work with communities in the world? All right, well, take it away, Fabby. Hola, mi nombre es Fabiola, soy la líder de comunidad de Guardian Project y el día de hoy voy a compartir con ustedes el trabajo que hemos estado haciendo proporcionando soporte a diversas comunidades alrededor del mundo y especialmente en Latinoamérica. Me da mucho gusto informarles que aunque parte de este trabajo lo hemos realizado en línea y de forma remota, también tuvimos la oportunidad de realizar algunos eventos en persona este año. Nos esforzamos mucho para lograr establecer nuevas relaciones con grupos en Latinoamérica preocupados por la vigilancia y censura en línea. Y lo hicimos a través de una serie de talleres en las que compartimos información sobre herramientas de Tor nuevas y herramientas actualizadas disponibles para dispositivos móviles, en los cuales incluimos Orbot para Android y iOS, Onion Browser para iOS y la versión beta de Onion Share para Android y iOS. Trabajamos en colaboración con el equipo de Tor para conectarnos con comunidades en México, Brasil y Ecuador y utilizamos encuestas para preguntar a estas comunidades acerca del estado de la censura dirigida a los dispositivos móviles en sus países y la forma en que los usuarios reaccionan cuando esto ocurre. 
También colectamos retroalimentación sobre la usabilidad y nuevas funciones para ayudarnos a mejorar Orbot, Onion Browser y Onion Share para dispositivos móviles. Estas comunidades de usuarios proporcionaron retroalimentación importante relacionada con la nueva función de conexión inteligente, el modo solidario, que es una forma divertida de convertirse en un proxy de Snowflake, y la nueva imagen de Orbot. Organizamos dos eventos en persona en México, uno en el sur del país y otro en la Ciudad de México. Y entre las comunidades y organizaciones representadas en estos talleres, identificamos una necesidad creciente de herramientas de privacidad y evasión de censura. Y actualmente estamos trabajando para ayudar a integrar el uso de Tor en dispositivos móviles en sus protocolos de seguridad. Desafortunadamente, aún existe una brecha muy grande entre la gente encargada de desarrollo y mejoras a la red de Tor y las personas a las que estamos tratando de ayudar. También existen muchos conceptos erróneos acerca del uso de Tor, entre ellos las implicaciones legales, los riesgos de conectarse a la red de Tor y la idea de que es una red demasiado lenta para su uso ordinario. Nos dimos cuenta que los usuarios que no cuentan con fundamentos básicos de tecnología necesitan más entrenamientos enfocados a la red de Tor, tutoriales y guías de usuarios para entender cómo funciona, por qué deberían usarla y aprender acerca de todas las aplicaciones, herramientas y servicios disponibles para ellos. Así que ahora nos estamos enfocando en producir más contenido educativo, realizar más interacciones directas y crear conciencia entre los usuarios de Latinoamérica. Además, estamos ofreciendo más sesiones en línea y contactando nuevamente a los participantes de talleres anteriores para mostrarles que su retroalimentación es importante, que los desarrolladores escuchan sus sugerencias y que las herramientas de Tor para dispositivos móviles están mejorando cada día gracias a su apoyo. Por mi parte es todo. Muchas gracias y hasta luego. Wow, isn't Fabi great? It's thanks to her and many other trainers, digital security experts, and advocates around the world that more people know how to use Tor on their phones right now than ever before. Thanks, Fabi. Muchas gracias. Now, with Orbot for Android V17, which is currently in alpha, you'll never be alone. Orbi will always be at your side, ready to make sure you stay connected and that your VPN is working, that you have the best bridge possible, and your chosen apps are safely routed through Tor. Orbi is the anonymous anti-censorship Android, and along with their debut will come a new, simpler, friendly user interface for all Orbot users. One of these features is Kindness Mode. Ah, we'll kill that firewall with kindness. While we've had in a hidden experimental setting in Orbot to turn your phone into a snowflake proxy, we're now bringing that front and center. We believe people will be really excited to contribute spare processing and bandwidth on their mobile device throughout the day or maybe just at night while they're sleeping to help others connect to Tor. We've also added weekly and all-time counters so you can brag and peer pressure your friends into helping too. We've also added Smart Connect features, making it simpler and faster to configure your Tor bridge settings and implemented a much improved app selection picker. And of course, hovering Orbi. It's so exciting to see Orbi hover up and then bing, say you're connected to Tor. Thanks for our awesome partners at OK Banks and Orbot developer Annette for all the work on this. Lastly, we have always been excited to help new developers build Tor into their apps and devices and services. Through our work on NetCypher, Tor Android, IPT Proxy, Tor Framework, and other code libraries, we have offered a variety of ways that apps can connect to or embed Tor. The most exciting development on this front is Onion Share for mobile a dream that Michael Lee and I have been discussing for many years that finally became a reality with support from Tor Project. An amazing work by Calix, Briar, and the Guardian Project team. Onion Share Mobile provides anonymous end-to-end -end encrypted file sharing right from your Android or iOS device through hosting an Onion v3 service. Select files, start the service, share an Onion link with a friend, And then that friend can just open that link on any Tor-enabled web browser, like Tor Browser for Android, Onion Browser, or anywhere a Tor VPN is running. It's free, unlimited, decentralized, anonymous, encrypted, secure, private. I mean, I could go on, but I think my time... My time is up? Yeah, my time is up. Okay. So check out onionshare.org slash mobile today. We're really excited to get this launched into the world. Finally, if you have an app, tool, device, or service... 
You want help getting Tor built into? Connect with us today at guardianproject.info or just come anywhere that Tor people hang out and they'll point you in our direction. And join us in the Onion Vast. All right. See y'all later. Thanks.